Hello guys, uh, welcome to my channel. Today we will solve the IITM qualifier exams uh, week 4 uh, statistics uh, graded assignment. So in this question uh, it says that are you able to see 7 dealers location and the sales of OnePlus and BBK electronics. So you can uh, see the 7 dealers location from this uh, table. So the answer of this question is yes. In this question, we have to calculate the popular standard deviation of sales of OnePlus. So we know the formula of popular standard deviation is root over of summation xi minus x bar whole square by n. The mean of this uh, data set is x bar equals to 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 2 plus 3 plus 5 plus 2 divided by uh, 7 that will be 4.29 then we can find uh, this table okay I calculate it uh, previously so we can uh, put the value from this table okay so the summation of xi minus x bar whole square equals to 21.4 if we add uh, this sum then uh, it will be 21.4 therefore uh, population uh, standard deviation will be 21.4 by 7 because in this question n equals to 7 so 21.4 uh, divided by 7 will be 1.75 in this question we have to find uh, the sample standard deviation of sales of bbk electronics we know the formula of uh, sample standard deviation that is uh, ssd equals to root over summation of y1 minus y bar whole square by n minus 1 okay i already calculate uh, the uh, value of y1 minus y bar whole square uh, from this table uh, i can uh, put the value uh, in this equation okay so the summation of y1 minus y bar whole square will be 70.86 if we add this value then 70.86 will become okay so therefore ssd will be root over 70.86 by 7 minus 1 that will be 3.44 okay uh, if you want to know how i find uh, this y bar so y bar equals to mean of bbk data set so that will be uh, 10 plus 12 plus 11 plus uh, 13 plus 18 plus 17 plus 18 divided by uh, 7 and that will be 10.14 okay and uh, if uh, you minus this uh, 14.14 from 10 that will be minus 4.14 if and minus 14.14 uh, from 12 that will be minus 2.14 and that goes on okay and uh, if you square this value then 17.14 uh, comes so in this way i already uh, calculated the whole table so 3.44 is the sample standard deviation of sales of bbk electronics this is the answer in this question we have to find the sample covariance between the sales of oneplus and bbk uh, electronics okay so we know the formula of sample uh, covariance that will be sample covariance equals to summation of xi minus x bar into 
minus y bar by n minus 1. If we uh, put uh, this and this value uh, in this equation, then uh, it will be 1.71 into minus 4.14 plus 1.71 into minus 2.14 plus 1.71 into minus 3.14 plus this is this will be uh, divided by 7 minus 1 and if we uh, calculate uh, this value then it will be minus 25.29 by 6 and the calculation of this value will be minus 4.21 so minus 4.21 will be the answer in this question we have to find uh, the correlation coefficient uh, between the sales of uh, oneplus and bbk electronics so we know the formula of correlation coefficient and that is uh, r equals to uh, sample covariance of xy by sample standard deviation of x Let's take it sx dot sy. This is the sample standard deviation. Okay. Of x. And this is the sample standard deviation of y. Okay. In the previous question, we already find the value of sample covariance. And that is minus 4.21 okay uh, in question number three we also uh, find the value of uh, sy that is the sample standard deviations uh, of uh, the bbk electronics and uh, that is uh, 3.43 now we have to find the sample standard deviations of one plus data set that is sx we know that sample standard deviations of Sx will be summation of Xi minus X bar whole square by N minus 1. We can put the value in this summation Xi minus X bar whole square. If we add all these values, then uh, we'll uh, get the, the value of summation of xi minus x bar whole square and uh, that will be 2.92 plus 2.92 plus 2.92 plus 5.24 plus 1.66 plus 0 0.5 plus 5.24 divided by 7 minus 1 and the value of this calculation will be 1.89 so if i uh, put uh, this value 1.89 and uh, 3.43 and minus 4.21 then uh, uh, the correlation coefficient will be r equals to minus 4.21 by 3.43 into 1.89 minus 4.21 is the value of sample covariance okay uh, 3.43 is the sample uh, standard deviation of uh, y and 1.89 is the sample standard deviation of x and the value of r will be minus 0 0.65 okay and uh, this is the answer in the previous question we already um, calculate uh, the value of correlation coefficient and uh, that is r equals to minus 0 0.65 that is minus 0 0.65 this negative sign indicates that uh, this is negative so negative is one of the answers and uh, 
in this question it says that uh, are you able to see all the eight values in this table so you can uh, see that all the eight values in this table so the answer is uh, yes and it also says that type one for yes so the answer is one in the question number nine it says that what proportion of total students are dull okay to find uh, the percentage so we have to at first we have to calculate the row sum okay and the column sum value okay if we add uh, these four values 67 102 85 and 128 then uh, the addition will be 382 okay this is the row sum and uh, uh, if we all also add uh, these four values uh, 57 82 86 and 92 then the value of the addition will be 317 okay and uh, now we calculate the value of the column sum 67 plus 57 uh, it will be 124 102 plus 82 it will be 184 and uh, 85 plus 86 uh, it will be 171 and 128 by uh, sorry 128 plus uh, 92 it will be 220 and uh, if we add uh, this uh, row sum 382 plus 317 and that will be 699 okay so in the question number 9 it says that what proportion of total students are dull from this data set we can uh, clearly see that the, to, um, the number of total students will be uh, 699 okay so total student number equals to 699 so among them what the percentage of dull student and uh, that is 171 because uh, this is the dull student 85 plus 86 so the percentage of dull student among uh, total students that will be 171 by 699 into 100 that will be 24.46 percent so this is the answer 24.46 percent in the question number 10 it says that what proportion of total students are in poor economic conditions so the number of total students is 699 okay the number of students in poor economic condition is 317 okay that is 57 plus 82 plus 86 plus 92 this number students are in poor economic conditions so the percentage of poor economic condition students are 317 divided by 699 into 100 and that will be 45.35 percent so the correct answer is 45.35 percent what proportion of students of good economic conditions are borderline the number of good economic conditions students are 382 okay 67 plus 102 plus 85 plus 128 so the total number of good economic condition students are 382 the number of borderline student uh, which are in uh, good economic condition that is uh, 128 okay so the percentage will be 128 by 382 into 100 and that is 33.50 so the answer is 33. 50%. In the question number 12, it says that what percentage of bright students are in poor economic conditions? So, uh, at first we have to find uh, the total number of uh, bright students. Okay. And uh, the value is 124. Okay. And among them, uh, 57 students are in uh, poor economic condition. So, the percentage is 57 by 124 into 100 equals to 45.97%. So 45.97% is the correct answer. Okay. In the question number 13, it says that what percentage of average students are in good economic conditions? At first, we have to 
find uh, the total number of average students and that is 184 102 plus 82 that is 184 okay among them um, 102 students are good economic condition so the so their percentage will be 102 by 184 into 100 that is 55.43 percent so this is the answer 55.43 percent if you like this video then please uh, share this video and also subscribe this channel thank you